back. If you are new here, my name is Trisha Miller. I upload videos every Wednesday and Friday. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We're also on Instagram, at Miller Family Vibes. For today, we are getting the house ready for spring, and I am talking deep clean, doing the things that I have been putting off all winter long. In reality, I could make a list of 100 things that ideally I would like to clean and get ready in the house, but then I won't do any of them. So I am limiting it to five tasks that I have procrastinated. I hope this inspires you to maybe kind of get out there, make your list of your five things, or maybe you'll see my five and think, hey, I need to do that as well. So the things we're gonna do today. The first thing, our outdoor screened in porch is a disaster. So that's the first big task for the spring cleaning that I'm gonna do. Then it's gonna be all about the floors. I wanna vacuum all the floors. I want to do our Tineco um, floor mop. If you haven't seen that before, I will show you. It's not sponsored. It is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. I love it. So I'm gonna do that on all the floors, get a deep clean on our floors. Then I'm gonna move to the car our rug. So we only have carpeting in our, in Steven and I's closet, and then the stairs going down to our basement. The rest of our house, is not carpeted. So we have a lot of surfaces with rugs. So I wanna just hit our like high traffic area rugs with the um, carpet shampooer. And I wanna just give those a nice refresh. I want to go around to all the, again, the high traffic areas where the kids' hands are constantly touching, the dog's bodies are rubbing up against the walls. We have white walls everywhere. So I wanna take a magic eraser. I wanna kinda of clean up those spots. You know those spots, the ones you see on a daily basis and you think, oh, I wanna get rid of that spot. So I'm doing it. I'm doing it today. I have about, 20 spots in my mind that I constantly see on a daily basis that drive me crazy and I'm finally doing something about them. So we're gonna do that. And the last thing I wanna do, I, I keep seeing this hack online where somebody takes the lid to a pot, you put like a microfiber cloth around it, you take a laundry pod, dissolve it in hot water, and you wash your couch with it. You know you're getting old when you are excited to try a new cleaning strategy. But I'm really excited, so we're gonna try that. So that's the plan for today. Stick with me. I hope this motivates you, inspires you to start getting some of those things done that you've been putting off and just give your house just a nice spring refresh. Okay, we are going to start with our screened in porch refresh. Just a background story. So when we built this house, our screen porch, we really envisioned it to be a spot where Stephen and I could go every morning and just have a cup of coffee and some peace and quiet. Honestly, that has not really happened. It, what the porch has become, Gus, our oldest dog, it is his absolute favorite place to nap. He loves climbing up on the couch and napping, hence me needing to wash the covers. And then, you know, it's really become a drop zone for the kids which I love, like the reasons that we thought we would use it are not the reality and that's okay. I love that the kids can just leave their muddy boots on there. They go in these adventures in the woods behind our house. So they need their tools. They bring back a million rocks and sticks and you know, it, that's what it has become. And I just love that. So it especially made it dirty though, because of that. And you won't be able to see on the screen all the <laughs> the dirt and the dead spiders and just all the things that I discovered as I was cleaning this. But it felt really good to just go through and finally get it cleaned up. And I am hoping that now that it's just a little bit more of a clean space, that we will go out there more often. I do imagine as spring is coming, we'll go out there and we'll have some dinners. And, you know, maybe Stephen and I will finally have that cup of coffee out there. <music>
to talk about these pillow covers for a moment. They took probably 10 years off of my life. They were so hard to get back on. I already decided I am never washing them again unless there is like just something massive on them. And even then, I think I will just scrub the spot. Uh, They were so hard to put back on. I have decided I don't need to do timeouts anymore for the kids. I think my new punishment will be they have to put the covers back on these pillows. I would like that two hours of my life back now. What I got Surely makes the world go round Feels like I had something real I something real Cause I got a love I got a love love I got a love I got a love
pick up the phone and call me I'll be there Girl, let me show ya You're my one and only Like I told ya I'll be there And if you get blue I got the loving for you Your loving, it thrills me before you use the Tineco. I just did it because we have a lot of dog hair and all the things, but this will actually vacuum and mop at the same time. Tineco, Tineco, tomato, tomato. I don't know if I'm saying the name correctly, but I do love this thing. So I just wanna show you how you set it up. So there's a tank at the top. That's where you're gonna put your water and your cleaning solution. And then the bottom tank is where all the dirty water goes. You will think your floors are clean, but then when you are done and you see the disgustingness of that dirty water tank, it's alarming. All right, so I will show you guys when you take this out, I'll try to see if I can get it to film, zoom in. So it's gonna give you a line, you do one cap full of the cleaning solution, pop it back in, and then you're good to go. So I'll show you um, while I'm using it, but then the next step, once you're done, you are going to put it back on the charging station and hit the cleaning mode and it will self clean. Then you remove the dirty water tank, pour it, I just pour it out in the toilet and then flush the toilet, call it a day, we're good to go. Um, just to warn you, when you are finished completely with it, you're gonna wanna take the bottom mop out, rinse it, let it dry somewhere, then put it back in. Cause I did notice the first time that I used it, I started to smell something. What is going on? It was the mop feature. So you have to make sure that you actually rinse off that bottom mop when you're using it every single time. And you obviously wanna clean out the dirty water tank, all that good stuff, let it dry before you put it back into the machine. All right, let's yeah. If my mind is reeling from the stress that I'm feeling, I need you. And I long for your touch, won't you tell me? I'll be there Your loneliness kills me But your loving it thrills me Won't you speak those words? I'll be there Whatever tomorrow may hold, I know You're the one for me, child amount of water out on the floor and then it takes like an hour or two to dry but I just did the foyer and it's almost completely dry so that's really important because three kids two dogs 
I can't keep them off the floors for more than a few minutes and it's dry, I would say probably maximum 10 minutes and then it's dry. It's amazing. Tineko and I are having a bit of a moment. Um, he's telling me to clean the brush roller, do the self-cleaning cycle. I felt a little bit judged by him. self-cleaning cycle. See? So what you'll find if you have one, it's blue when the floors are um, in a relatively clean state. It's just doing a nice little cleanup. I've been getting a lot of red zone on my floors, so I feel a little attacked by the Tineko right now. But also, there's probably so much dog hair still even after vacuuming that I now need to do a self-clean mid-mopping. Please begin self-cleaning cycle. Okay, let's go self-clean. Eraser. What else have we done? I've done all the floors with the Tineco. We've done some vacuuming. So I am going to pause. Maybe I'll get back to it later tonight. If not, we'll pick up tomorrow. Roy, where are we heading right now? Where are you and I going to go? Um, to Starbucks with Yaya and to the park with Yaya. We're going to go pick up my mom, Yaya. Go for a Starbucks treat. Go to the park. Have some girl time. So I will catch up with you guys soon for the rest of this. And though you're not here anymore, I still think about you. Cause baby, I, yeah, I didn't forget you. Hey, no, I, 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 I didn't forget you.
has come to try this couch cleaning hack. So I'm going to get my kettle going and make some really hot water. You take a laundry pod, put it in a bowl, and then I'm gonna pour the boiling water on top and it should, fingers crossed, dissolve the laundry pod. And then I took like a smaller lid because I only have kind of like the tiny little um, microfiber cloth. So you're supposed to, I'll zoom in to show you guys, but you're essentially supposed to wrap it up and tie it. But my towel isn't big enough to tie it. So I'm just gonna hold it with my hand. And so you'll just dip it in the water and then start scrubbing. We'll see what happens. Oh, I, I, I'll never forget you, baby. Tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you mama I tell you papa too Okay, here's the overview and my final review. First of all, how satisfying was it to watch that pod dissolve? It reminded me of like a hot cocoa bomb when you pour that hot milk on it. Anyways, so it worked perfect. You'll see the blue streaks. That's just the part of my couch where it was the most wet. The next morning when it was completely dried, it looked amazing and it smelled so good. I highly recommend it. All right, let's clean some rugs. Yeah, up on the mountaintop I'm gonna let everyone know about my love So I really hope you love me too Yeah, I really hope you love me too Oh, there's something deep inside Yeah, that for my top five spring cleaning tasks. Despite the pillows taking 10 years off my life, the Tineco judging me, we made it through. I got it all done in one day. You don't have to get it done in a day, but I do hope this inspires you to get some things done and get ready for spring. And I hope that you are having a wonderful day and a wonderful start to your spring season. I'll see you next time.